I'm making a new beer bottle engine. This one's going to be uh, from a larger beer bottle, taller, to keep the top further away from the uh, heat of the stove, wider diameter. Um, I tried using my bottle cutter for this, but after three failures of uh, pretty failed cuts, a lot of chips, a lot of um, cracks in the bottles, I, I simply couldn't get it to work on this particular brand bottle. I went back, I practiced a bit, made some pretty nice smaller cylinders, but uh, in the end I had to switch over to, uh, first I tried my grinding disc, which was taking forever, and someone had suggested a diamond disc, which uh, I dug around and happened to have one, and uh, that worked out really quite well. It's a little, it gave a much rougher finish than uh, the grinding disc would have, but it was much quicker. So uh, this is my cylinder. It's got a little notch. I'll be doing a bit of sanding on a piece of sandpaper to smooth off the ends. You know, but uh, this should work quite nicely. For the displacer, I used my displacer plan maker for my website to produce the plan. I printed it on 100% cotton paper, which is much more resistant to heat. Here we have the finished pattern cut out. We'll just go through a quick assembly. First I like to poke a hole, a pin in the middle of these. Once you have it all glued together and assembled, you can use the pinholes you made earlier to uh, feed the shaft in. Right. To hold things in place, I've decided to just go with some basic, um, cut out a couple circles of the paper. I'm going to just glue them on the ends. The top piece of paper should keep the uh, shaft from wearing a larger hole, give it a little more strength. The bottom, of course, will keep the shaft from sliding out. A little touch up. I put a heat shield on the bottom by attaching basic aluminum foil with some high temp silicone. off. Now I'm, gonna, I'm poking a few holes in the top because they tend to be a little airtight once you're all done with them and uh, when it heats up it'll blow up and uh, kind of warp the top and the bottom outward kind of like a balloon so I just want to poke a few holes to let air in and out of the displacer as needed. With the displacers I like to cook them a little bit prior to uh, actually building the rest of the engine because the 
the glues and stuff give off a lot of smoke the first few times the engine would run. And that gums up the engine quite a bit. So I just cook it a little bit. Usually just make something to hold it off the surface. And put this to give a little air gap for the smoke to go out, otherwise it'll stain the, uh, stain the paper. But I just uh, heat it up for a little bit. And that saves a lot of cleanup later on the engine after it runs the first couple times. Next we're going to cut out the top support structure. That's going to be cut out of a quarter inch oak. First we'll drill out the holes, cut out the openings, and then cut out the entire piece. Here it is with the holes drilled out. Always cut out the small interior pieces first. Work my way to the larger pieces. Once the interior is cut out, I cut out the outside. This top will have all the structures to attach it to the top of the cylinder and hold uprights. This side piece here, that's going to hold um, an air channel. We need to drill it out to um, connect it. Looks like I didn't clamp that very straight, so I'll probably have to deal with that problem later in the project. But it'll basically hinge there and then connect to the middle of the cylinder for the airflow instead of the top. This is what the finished top piece will look like. Next we're going to move on to cutting out the handle and the uprights. We drill out the interior holes first, as always. And do the interior cuts first, as always. Alright, I have all the top pieces cut out here. Um, I'm going to use bearings in this model. Probably could get away without it because um, wood metal friction tends to be pretty low. So, but uh, I'll just do a quick dry fit of what the top's going to look like. So we've got a handle here. Uh, those go into the top like so. Obviously we're missing a few pieces here. That will go together. 